doubt if he ever said that. <laughs> now, I have three telephone numbers. I'm going to repeat them just once. Uh, uh, see if you can repeat them after me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. Plaza. 23391. Mm -hmm. Murray Hill. 31099. Plaza. 23931. Tough question. Mm-mm. Tough roast beef. Um, Plaza 2, 3391. Murray Hill 3, 1099. And Plaza 2, 3931. Uh, well, uh, would you mind telling me how you arrived at that? First is Plaza 2, with the year of the bank panic reversed. And the second one is Murray Hill 3, with... Uh, 33 years after the date of the Norman Conquest, and the last one is Plaza 2, with the number the same as the first, and the second and the third digits transposed. Except that there's something terribly wrong with that question. Mm, really? I, mm, mm. I don't think there is any Plaza 2 exchange. Mm -hmm. uh, what, if anything, is uh, wrong? <clears throat> well, I guess we can skip that. Mm. Now, before asking you the next question, I must advise you it contains a trick. Oh. In order to see into the trick, I give you two words of advice. Never assume. Don't worry, I won't. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. A detective broke into an apartment, found Harry and Grace lying on the floor, dead. Mm -hmm. Beside them was a small pool of water, and some fragments of broken glass. Above them, on a sofa looking down at them, was a pet cat, his back arched. The detective concluded, without further investigation, that the victims had died of strangulation. How was this uh, conclusion possible? Never assume, hmm? Never assume. Yeah, well... The only thing I'm assuming is that uh, Harry and Grace were... Hey. Were Harry and Grace... Oh, no, it's too silly. Were Harry and Grace goldfish? No, they weren't. They were rare tropical fish. Like you. How did your machine do on this test? No machine can evaluate. How'd you happen to ask that question? Oh, I did a little research on you. Mm-hmm. You were born in Columbus, Ohio on May the 22nd. That makes you a Gemini. You're a graduate of MIT with a PhD in science. You're a Phi Beta Kappa, although you don't wear your key, which means either that you're modest or that you lost it. You spent World War II in Greenland working on something so top secret that even I couldn't find out about it. You're one of the leading exponents of the electronic brain in this country and the inventor and patent holder of an electronic brain machine called EMERAC, the Electromagnetic Memory and Research Arithmetical Calculator. That's all I found out so far, but only had half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> A very rare tropical fish. Thank you. <laughs> Did you ever see one of these electronic brains work? Uh, EMERAC, for example? Yeah, yeah. The, the, just this morning, as a matter of fact, I saw a demonstration at IBM. Oh? Did you see it translate Russian into Chinese? Yeah, and so it do everything. Frightening. Gave me the feeling that maybe, just maybe, people were a little bit outmoded. Mmm. Wouldn't surprise me a bit if they stopped making them. <laughs> Thanks, Don. Hello, Smithers. 